Hi, Grace Life Kids. I'm so glad to be able to meet with you in this way. Um, I just wanted to share a quick book with you that uh, I got for our family recently. Um, it's called God Made Me Unique, and I know it's going to be backwards for you guys, and I apologize for that. Um, but I wanted to just read it, um, and this might be something you can share with your kids. Um, but I chose this book specifically for what's going on right now. Um, we just want to be thinking about other people and being compassionate towards their needs and things like that um, when we are out in the community. Um, so anyway, here is God Made Me Unique. It's put out by Joni and Friends, which is a, a Christian organization um, that helps to accelerate outreach um, for the disabled community. Um, so, God made me unique. It all started as an ordinary Sunday at church. Some children came yawning and rubbing their eyes. None of them knew there would be a surprise. Garrett was cranky, Jenna had the wiggles. Miss Campbell clapped to silence their giggles. I have an announcement you will all want to hear. Please come join our circle. Let's all gather near. Miss Campbell sat waiting as children grew quiet. They all sat down slowly, that is, except Wyatt. He stood in the back with a small spinning toy. His mom always says, He's busy, he's a busy young boy. The toy helps him focus, keeps hands to himself. Miss Campbell keeps extras high up on her shelf. Thank you for giving me all your attention. Before we get started, there's news I will mention. There's a friend who is joining our class this week. Our friend's name is Bree, and like us, she's unique. Her family moved here just two weeks ago. She loves to eat pizza. Her dog's name is Bo. First days can be hard when all things are brand new. Like the first day of school, do you think this is true? I cried when I started first grade, said Jamal. They looked right at my chair and said I couldn't play ball. It hurts to be left out, says Miss Cam Miss Campbell agreed. We should never exclude based on a disability. We're all here this morning to talk about special needs. Do you, have you heard that phrase? Do you know what it means? I do, called out Wyatt while waving his hand. God made me unique. It was all part of his plan. Thanks, Wyatt, Miss Campbell said with a kind nod. You're right, we're all created equally by God. Bree's parents have asked that I share news with you. She has some special needs to be aware of, just a few. Sometimes we call disability special needs. Some are quite clear and some others are unseen. You have friends who use braces to help their legs walk, our friends, or friends who are deaf and use their hands to talk. Jamal uses his chair to help him go fast. Have you heard him beep as he buzzes past? Beep, beep. Bree doesn't like some sounds or loud noises she hears. She, so she often wears headphones to cover her ears. Letitia's arm raised in the air rather quick. Is there something wrong? Is our new friend Bree sick? Disabilities aren't germs that, you, that you're able to share. They are part of creation. There's no need to be scared. God made us. We read in Psalm 139, he made us unique. We're all one of a kind. God, our creator, made us with great care. He planned every feature from our toes to our hair. He, you put me together inside my mother's womb. Psalm 139, 13. He even counts every hair on your head. Matthew 10, 30. A knock on the door brought Miss Campbell to her feet. Returning, she said, class here's someone to meet. Bree's mom gently removed headphones and then turned to go. Miss Campbell said, friends, can you please wave hello? Please, 
Join the circle. We'll continue our lesson. The Bible is where we find answers to our questions. We were talking about how God made us unique from the tops of our heads to the soles of our feet. Did you know that to balance big toes play a part and tiny veins carry the blood to our heart? The eyes, remarked Jenna, help us to see where to walk. And if we had no tongue, we could not even talk. We can't get a drink without lifting the cup to bite into a cookie. My hand picks it up. As it is, there are many parts, but there is only one body. The eye can't say to the hand, I don't need you. The head can't say to the feet, I don't need you. 1 Corinthians 12, 20 through 21. Miss Campbell was excited. Isn't it neat? All the parts work together to make the body complete. Paul teaches that churches work in the same way. Every member has value and a part to play. The parts of the body that seem to be weaker are the ones we can't do without. The parts that we think are less important we treat with special honor. 1 Corinthians 12, 22 through 23. God gives us all unique talents to bring. Some like to pray and some others can sing. There are those who make coffee and pastors who preach. There are members like me who are able to teach. My mom rocks the babies on Sundays, Anne said. She prays for each one and kisses their head. No service at church is too big or too small. We want everyone here. God use us, uses us all. Our class time will quickly come to a close. Do you have any questions or things you don't know? Sammy, a shy boy, then raised up his hand. My brother has special needs, I understand. I'm so glad this lesson has helped you to see. Disabilities are a part of how God made us unique. Let's pray and thank God for teaching us about our worth. And a small voice said, God, thank you for making me feel welcome at church. Anyone who welcomes a little child like this, one in my name welcomes me. Matthew 18, 5. The end. Thank you all for listening and sharing this book with me. I'll have a couple others that um, I'll be sharing throughout the next couple weeks um, just to help you as you try to um, pass on some lessons to your children. Um, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much.